happy Tuesday after Easter, everyone. Hope y'all enjoyed your Easter, er, Thanksgiving. What am I saying Easter? It's Thanksgiving, man. Hope y'all enjoyed your Thanksgiving. But now that that's over, let's get on to the real holiday season we have here. Christmas. Obviously, it's officially Christmas time. Probably a lot of y'all have already started celebrating Christmas, uh, like before Thanksgiving. Me and my wife, uh, just started decorating today, so we're all starting to get in the Christmas spirit. But with Christmas spirit comes eggnog, obviously. And that's, uh, one of the best things about Christmas. Because you can drink in the morning, and nobody knows, because it's eggnog. No one knows if there's stuff in it or not. It's eggnog. No one's going to judge you for drinking eggnog. And if you don't like eggnog... Well, I suggest you try it again, because I used to hate eggnog. I used to not be a fan. But then last year, I tried some again, and I was like, you know what? Stuff's actually pretty dang good. And now I'm a, I'm a bit of a nog fanatic myself. You know, I, I enjoy myself some nog from time to time throughout the Christmas season. So what we have here is three uh, home, or not homemade, three store-bought eggnogs. All of them already have alcohol in it. And we're going to see which one's best. You know, now maybe you're a make and all yourself kind of guy. Maybe you're a buy some pre-made nog but mix it yourself kind of guy. Maybe you're a buy pre-made, pre-mix nog kind of guy. Either way, we're going to do a little bit of some variations throughout the Christmas season and some eggnog experiments. So stick with us for all our eggnog related videos coming up along with other great whiskey and alcohol related content. And maybe some other things. You never know what's going to pop up on the show. But let's get into the reviews here. Now, all these are roughly the same price. We have 1.5 liter, a 1 liter with the Mr. Boston, and Evan Williams is a 750. But they're all roughly the same price. So they're, they're all right about $10. However, obviously you get more as you go on throughout the... Uh, brands here so all about the same price though and let's be honest even if you're a huge nog fanatic you're not like slamming four or five glasses of nog uh you're still only having one or two glasses of nog so it's i feel like size isn't that doesn't matter that much unless you're having a big family come over but size also always matters depending on who you ask i guess um alcohol content 15 percent 15 percent 13.9 percent here on the kirkland eggnog which comes from Costco. If y'all don't know what Kirkland is, it's just Costco's brand. If you don't have a Costco membership, I don't think you can get this. But you should get a Costco membership because it's pretty well worth it. So, there's the alcohol percentages. Other than that, it's eggnog. Alright, so let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Now, obviously, I've tried the Kirkland brand already. Had a little sip out of it, but it was a while ago. So, I don't think it should uh, affect my, uh, you know first impression flavors for the review. So we're going to pour up a little bit in our small jar here. I just might as well get them all poured up before we start taking sips so we can take them a little bit more back to back to back to back to back. Mix it up a little bit. I let them sit in the fridge for a little too long. I bought them a little early into the season and then decided that I didn't want to make the video just yet. Instead of being smart and just pre-filming it, I decided to just keep them in the fridge for a long time, so they have been sitting for a while. Not like a couple months or anything weird, just like a week or two. Um, so there's Evan Williams for you, and then the Mr. Boston. I haven't heard of Mr. Boston before this. If only, I've obviously heard of Evan Williams, obviously heard of Kirkland Brand stuff. Haven't heard of Mr. Boston. Supposedly, though... The Mr. Boston is sold as a year-round product. It's not a, uh, it's not a legit, you know, eggnog that can't expire type deal. It's kind of made for shelf, you know, being able to last on the shelf for a long time, stuff like that. So, apparently this one isn't legit actual eggnog, according to the lady that sold it uh, to me at the look store, but I'm sure it's still just fine. So we're going to start over here. Right to left, or left, left to right here. That's awkward. Left to right over here, starting with the Kirkland Special Nog. Note first, it does seem to be the lighter of the three. Seems like Evan Williams is a little bit darker, and then the uh, Mr. Boston is kind of in between them. 
in case you're really, in case you're really curious about your, the colors of your nogs. So, I mean, good eggnog to begin with, some quality tasting eggnog, however, you can kind of tell there's alcohol in there, which is weird being at 13%. It just kind of has that annoying, like, alcohol note in there without like, really doing much for you. I wonder if you ever like, tried making a milkshake with Baileys or something, or something like that, where, like, it tastes good, but at the very end, it's just, like, this random like bite from alcohol that shouldn't really be there but it kind of just ruins everything that's kind of how this is like it's not like a strong bite I mean, there's a little bit to be like hey there's alcohol in here and really it'd be nice if i just couldn't tell and there was still alcohol in there let's try the evan williams here okay that one tastes a little different it uh the, the nog itself isn't the same. Now, with the Evan Williams, you can't really tell there's alcohol in there, so that's kind of nice. Kind of just tastes like eggnog. However, it's weird flavored eggnog. I don't know what exactly is in there, but... Mm, it's hard to put my tongue on it. It is good. It's just like a, a bit of a spicier nog, I guess you could say. It's, uh, it's, it's a little interesting, a little different. Let's go with the Mr. Browns here. Or Mr. What is it? Mr. Brown, right? Mr. Boston, sorry. I keep thinking of Mr. Browns. Let's go with the Mr. Boston. That is terrible. Honestly, wow. Now, I'm going to scoot these away. I don't want this getting infected over here. Um, that's just bad nog, really. Like, There's nothing good to say about nog. Mr. Boston over here, whatever the heck it's called. There really isn't. I mean, mm. It almost tastes like a little bit of orange juice in the back end of that. Um... I don't know what's up with that at all, but Mr. Boston is just, a doctor, Mr., yeah, Mr. Boston, just down the drain, honestly, I man, I hate wasting alcohol, but this just ain't worth it for what it is, man. Mr. Boston's a no-go. All right, between Kirkland and Evan Williams, whew, I mean, there ain't much of a difference. You know, if, if you're trying to get some good bang for your buck, go with Kirkland be very satisfied you'll get more for pretty much the same price um i think th this was like right at ten dollars this might have been like 11 or something um but yeah i mean kirkland's the way to go if you're trying to get a budget my favorite one is probably evan williams though i think they probably had the best overall nog flavor along with being able to hide the alcohol in there and combine it all well. I feel like a lot of times when you throw alcohol in things, it's hard to get the alcohol to mix, to combine, to become part of the drink rather than a standalone thing with the drink. And I think Kirkland was almost there. They just missed it a little bit. However, I think Evan Williams did a great job of making an eggnog with alcohol in it. Whereas I feel like Kirkland had an eggnog they added alcohol to. Um, overall though, both of these are great options if you're looking for some pre-made nog. Stay away from Mr. Boston's. It's not worth it. Just, I mean, I cannot recommend. Well, Evan Williams had to get that Mr. Boston's out my mouth. Taste. Mr. Boston's taste out my mouth. Um, overall, though, I hope you all enjoy this video. I hope you all go get yourself some nog, some Kirkland, some Evan Williams. If there's a different company out there that makes some pre-made, pre-mixed nog, drop in the comments so the other people that are looking can know about it, and maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll pick some of that up if you enjoy it yourself. Like this video, comment on it, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy your holiday season. It's Christmas coming up, and 
uh, New Year's and everything else like that. And I hope you all stay tuned for more alcohol related content and such on The Sully Show. Till I see you all next time, keep drinking. Cheers.